Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a quick, short, but super effective sequence of Pilates moves that will help you tone and strengthen your glutes. And we will follow that with a couple of stretches that target the same area. So if you're at home, all you need is a mat and your body. So let's get started. We're going to start on our back. So hold on to the backs of your thighs and then slowly roll down. Nice, so we're going to start with the shoulder bridge. For that, bring your feet flat on the floor, not too far, not too close to your bottom. So you want your fingertips to just be able to touch your heels if your arms are nice and straight by the side of the body. You want to keep your feet parallel, your thighs parallel throughout this exercise. So we're going to do the first one without using the arm, arm movement. So press down into your feet. Scoop the belly in, lift the tailbone off the floor, and then one bone after the other, you're lifting your back off the floor. So feel that spine peeling off your mat. So we want to keep the back of the neck nice and long, the chin away from the chest, and lift the hips up high. So imagine two helium balloons pulling your hip bones up towards the sky. And then starting from the upper back, slowly start to come back onto the mat. Nice, so we're going to do 10 repetitions of this. So you can either stay with the arms by the sides or you can join me uh, with the arm movement. So we're going to bring the arms all the way up and then scoop the belly in, lift the tailbone, peel the, peel the spine off the floor as you simultaneously bring the arms to the side of the body. And we're going to keep moving with this. So that's one. We're going to go for 10. So this just helps to kind of bring your awareness to coordination as well. And some movement in the shoulder joints. And that's two. Keep the arms nice and long. Lift the hips up high. And keep breathing through your movements. Nice and easy breaths. Lift the hips up. Press into your feet equally. Keep the thighs parallel, keep your feet parallel. So that's four. Simultaneously moving your arms, lifting your hips, engaging the glutes at the top, keeping the back of your neck nice and long. So that's five, we have five more. So activating the glutes at the top, drawing the ribs in and and contracting the abdominal muscles. So you want that engagement in the abs. We've got three more here together. Keeping the hips nice and level when you lift up. You should already start to feel that burn <laughs> in the glutes. And let's do one more here together. Nice. Now we're going to stay here. Keep the arms by the sides of the body. Lift the hips up a little higher. Draw the ribs in and engage the abdominals. Okay. Now we're going to open up the knees slightly towards the outside and then bring them back to parallel. We're going to do 10 pulses like this. So open and close. Nine, close. Eight, parallel. Seven, parallel. Keep the ribs stucking in. Navel in, five, four, three, keep the hips high, one, last one, lift the hips one last time, and starting from the upper back, take your time to roll yourself back onto the mat. Good job. Hug your knees in towards the chest. Oof, that should feel pretty good. Nice. So we're just going to roll over to the side, press ourselves up and come to our right side. So we're going to start by working out the left glute. So lie down on the right side of the body, extend the arm overhead and then you can either drop your head onto your arm. If this is not very comfortable for your neck, you can bend the elbow and rest your head on top of the forearm. So for this exercise, we're going to bend the bottom knee 
okay? To just create a little bit of stability and stack our hips. So you want to make sure throughout this move to keep the top hip right on top of the bottom hip. And think of lifting up the bottom waist off the floor, engaging the core. So you're working on your obliques here. So let's lift the top leg to the same level as our hip. And now we're going to keep the toes pointed and we're going to tap the toes to the front edge of the mat and back. So drawing little semicircles or rainbows with your toes. So let's go for 10 together. 10, keep that engagement in the core. Nine. Eight, you want to keep the top uh, hip right over the bottom hip. Six. Imagine a cup of tea lying here. You don't want to spill that tea. Four. Three. Nice and controlled movements. Two. One. Last one. Nice job. Let's keep the leg lifted. You can flex the toes and we're going to do little pulses. It can be a very small movement. Let's go for a 10, nine. Keep the core engaged, bottom waist lifting off. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Let's bend that top leg. So both the knees are together, feet are together. So you want the top foot to heavily rest on, on the bottom foot, okay? Now we're going to do the clam series, my absolute favorite. <laughs> so let's lift the feet off the floor. You can of course do this series with the feet on the floor, but this just adds a little more engagement in the bottom glute as well. That's why I like to lift the feet off. Okay, so we're going to open the knee and close. Same thing, you wanna keep that top hip right over the bottom hip. Let's go for 10, nine. Keep the feet lifting if you've lifted them. Seven, keep breathing. Six, core is engaged, bottom waist lifting. Four, three, two, one. Last one, good job. We're going to keep going here, open the knee. Extend the leg nice and straight. Come back and close the knee. So we're going to go for 10 here. Open, extend, you've got this. Feet together, knees together. That's two. Feet together, knees together. Three, you can feel the burn, I know. <laughs> That's four. Open, extend, feet together. Knees together, keep that cup of tea nice and stable. Good job, keep going, that's six. We've got four more, four, three more. Open, extend, feet together, two. Nice job, keep that core engaged, the bottom waist lifting up. Last one, we've got this. And knees together, let's go for 10 pulses, we can do this. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last one, knees together. Yes, you can give your glutes a little tap for all the work that they've done. Nice job. Let's move to the other side. So we're going to do exactly what we did on this side for the right glute this time. So extend the arm and then bend the elbow if you wish to. Bottom leg is bent, top leg nice and straight. Imagine somebody pulling the leg away from you. So you wanna keep that leg nice and straight. Top hip stacked over the bottom hip. And let's begin. So think of that cup of tea that you want to stabilize here. You want to keep lifting the bottom waist off the floor, engaging the core, okay? So let's start, lift the top leg and start to draw those rainbows. Tap the front edge of the mat and then the back edge. Let's go for 10, nine, leg is straight, eight, keep the core engaged, seven, six, keep that cup of tea nice and stable, five, 
beautiful rainbows with your toes three two core is engaged one last one good job come back to center foot is in line with your hip and we're going to do little pulses so flex your foot and let's go for 10 pulses small movements but nice and controlled 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and release both the knees are together for our clam series so bend the knees feet are together top foot resting on the bottom foot core is engaged hips are stacked bottom waist lifting off the floor lift the feet off the floor and let's begin open the knee up towards the sky and close keep that cup of tea here close let's go for 10 9 8 7 keep the core engaged 6 bottom waist lifted 5 4 three two keep the feet lifting one last one good job so let's continue open the knees extend the right leg bring the feet back together and close let's go for ten that's nine eight keep the core engaged seven keep the hips stacked six You've got this. Come on, let's do this together. Five. Nice and long legs when you extend them. Four. Extend. Feet together. Knees together. Three. Extend. Knees together. Feet together. Two. Last one. Keep the core engaged for the last one. Feet together. And ten little pulses. Yes. Ten. Nine. Eight, engage the glutes. Feel that action here in the glutes. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good job. Nice job. No pain, no gain. All right, so we're going to come back on um, the right side. And this time, bring your forearm down. So you want to keep the forearm parallel to the top edge of your mat, OK? right so let's keep the bottom uh, leg bent and we're going to extend that left leg nice and straight okay lift and now we're going to keep that bottom waist lifted engaging the core i'm going to flex my toes kick the leg to the front and then point and bring it back so it's slightly behind me okay so flex forward point back Okay, we're going to go for 10. Back. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep the core engaged. Four. Three. Two one last one nice job bring it back to center we're going to do lifts and lowers for this one you can extend the bottom leg as well so keep it at a slight angle towards the front and we're going to lift and lower 10 times okay lift and lower lift legs are nice and straight active legs 10 9 8 core is engaged bottom waist lifting Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good job. Let's swing the legs over to the other side. So forearm down, forearm parallel to the top edge of the mat. Bottom leg is bent, top leg nice and straight. Okay, so hips are stacked, bottom waist is lifted core is engaged lift that right leg and we're going to kick forward flex and point back bring it slightly behind you 
flex forward. You want to keep the leg at the same level. Let's go for eight more. Seven. Keep the core engaged. Six. Nice and controlled movement. Five. Four. Three. Core is engaged. Two. Feel that action in your glutes. Last one. We've got this. Come on. Last back bring it back to center now you can extend the top uh, the bottom leg bring it slightly to an angle keep the hips stacked so you don't want the top hip to fall back bring it back to center we're just going to do lifts and lowers okay so keep the legs nice and straight core is engaged bottom waist lifted and let's go for 10 9 8 6 keep breathing Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. And last one. Nice job. So let's swing the legs around. We're going to come back onto the mat. So roll yourself down, holding onto the backs of your thighs. Slowly scoop the belly in, roll yourself down. So we're going to revisit that bridge pose, but we're going to add on. Okay, this is the last one we will do. Arms are by the sides, feet are parallel flat on the floor. Now lift the hips up high. Imagine those two balloons pulling your hip bones high up towards the sky. Keep the thighs parallel. Keep the neck long. Now press into that right foot nice and strong and then lift the left knee into that 90 degree angle and shoot it up towards the sky. Now I'm going to flex my toes, bring the leg in one line so that the knees are in line and point and lift. Flex and lower, keep the hips up, lift, flex, point last one flex point and bring it back to that 90 degree angle drop the foot lift the hips high keep them lifted and we're going to slowly roll back onto the mat so we're going to do the same thing on the other side now so prepare tuck the tailbone lift up so make sure you're hugging the ribs in using that core to stabilize the hips and activate the, the glutes. Press into the left foot, bring the right leg into that 90 degree angle and shoot the foot up. Flex to lower, knees in one line. Point to lift. Flex lower, point to lift. Flex lower, point to lift. Last one, flex to lower, point, lift and bring back that leg into that 90 degree angle foot comes back down lift the hips up high and lower so we did four repetitions on each side you're free to do this as many times as you wish okay so we're just going to end it with two of my favorite stretches so bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh close to the knee push the right knee away from you. So you can stay here if this is enough for you or you can lift the left foot off the floor, hold on to the back of your left thigh and pull the shape towards you. With your right elbow, maybe you're able to push this right knee away. So this is a beautiful stretch for this entire side and the glute. Your back is on the floor, your neck, your shoulders are relaxed. And take a few breaths here, staying present. See what you feel in the body, which area of the body is feeling that stretch. And breathe into that space where you're feeling that sensation. And after any strengthening exercise, the muscles tend to get tight. So stretching them out is really, really important. Nice. So bring back that left foot down. We're going to stay on this side. Now bring the right thigh to cross over the left thigh, okay? And now 
lift the feet off the floor and you can either pull the shape towards your chest just as it is or you hold on to the outside edges of your feet pull the feet away so towards the sides and then pull the shape towards you bend the elbows pull the shape towards you so the thighs stay crossed so this is quite a deep stretch in both the sides of the glutes and it feels amazing so see which variation you want to take and just stay here for a few breaths once again staying completely present in the here and the now trying to relax all the muscles of your face notice if there is any tension in the jaw the forehead just breathe send your breath wherever you feel the body is asking for it and we're going to release and move on to the other side that should feel really really good in your glutes so let's get the left ankle on top of the right thigh close to the knee lift the right foot off the floor and bring your hands to the uh, to the back of your thigh and pull the shape towards you so with your left elbow now maybe you're able to push that knee away and once again feel your back on the floor feel that stretch in the sides of the hips Soften your shoulders, your neck, and enjoy the stretch. We're going to stay here for two or three more breaths, and then move on to that last stretch. So taking time to stretch out after any, any workout is really, really important. Helps to recover quicker and better. Nice job. Let's move on to that last stretch. So cross that left thigh over the right thigh as if you were seated and crossing your legs really. And then lift this shape towards your chest. So you can either hug it in or hold on to the outside edges of your feet. Pull the feet away towards the sides and pull this entire cross-legged shape towards your chest. Nice. Feel that beautiful, beautiful stretch. Enjoy it. You've done all the hard work, the strengthening, the toning. It's time to stretch it out now. Let's take two to three more breaths here. Enjoy the stretch. Stay in the present. Stay with your breath. Maybe send your breath wherever you're feeling that stretch sensation. <sighs> and then release nice job give yourself a hug knees towards your chest you deserve this hug and then roll to the side press yourself up come to a seat so that's about it it's a quick but super effective workout i hope you felt it as much as i did thank you very much for joining me today if there is any comment any feedback any question that you have please feel free to drop it in the comments and i'll be happy to answer and reply to you thank you so much have a great day and see you soon